This is the third time I made this video. The last time I, f I did the whole fucking shit and the fuck and the and the mic wasn't even plugged in, man. So if I seem a little angry making this video, just know this is my third time making this damn review. Plugging my balls out, nigga. Otherwise, I'd be hot. I'd be mad. I'd be pissed. I'd probably quit this fucking video. But let's get to this shit. What these weird ass niggas talking about? That's why it's a difficult situation because at the same time, you don't want to discriminate against a woman, but you don't want to discriminate against trans people. You don't want... To put them in a dangerous spot where they have to change in a man's bad bathroom where it's not only discriminated against, they can be physically harmed. <laughs> you serious? And you don't want to discriminate against a woman and the kids. That's why I'm saying it's like a, uh, mm, mm, third bathroom. But, Still talking about this third bathroom? Are we still talking about this third funky ass bathroom? Get! But, again, third change room, problem solved. Is it gonna cost more? Yes. Yeah. Do that. That's, that's, my, that's my solution. That's, yeah, that's my solution. Bro, it's not gonna stop these niggas from killing themselves. It's not gonna stop these men from being weak as fuck, giving them excuses not to be motherfucking men. A third bathroom. We still talking about this shit? Third bathroom? Fuck out of here, man. I'm sick and tired of hearing about this third bathroom shit. Put them niggas in therapy. Get them, buy them niggas some pussy. Alright? Like that nigga Cat Williams said, if at first they fail, try, try again. It's not a perfect solution, but I mean, it is what it is. It's not okay. Okay, that's traumatizing to see that. I'm a woman. I think this is a place right here. I'm told only for women. So how dare you sit up here and tell me I don't have a right as a woman you know, to defend? I'm telling you, he has a, a full and testicle, okay? Something. Oh, what is he, shy? <laughs> he was trying to do, like, do they identify? He has a I, he I, you. I'm telling you, he had a penis. Veins. Mom. That's crap. Oh, yeah. six inches. Crap. Minimum. Subway. Crap. Flaccid. Half a sub. Crap. Boom. Meatballs. With some salt. Crap. Mega crap. Oh, literally meatballs. <laughs> it's so funny. You got a grown man traumatizing little girls, nigga. Little girls, nigga. It, 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 in my eyes, that's pedophilia already, nigga. They're niggas. Out here, that you traumatize they little girl like that, nigga. Scar my baby's fucking mind up. I'm going to scar your face, motherfucker. I mean, stop. You niggas need some fathers in your life. You niggas need some uncles, some cousins to whoop your ass one time. Show you what it is to be a real man. A lot of you niggas just scared to take up your real motherfucking responsibilities or to answer for the shit you did in your past. So now you want to be a bitch. You niggas not fooling me. You weak bitches. You niggas not fooling me. And so far as Adam and Preach go, they sit here laughing, making excuses. Third bathroom. It's not going to work. You talking about irrelevant solutions to a literally a problem that can be solved with fucking logic. Ain't that many trans people in America, nigga. Shit, hell, ain't that many gay people in America, nigga, for all this motherfucking commotion. But, nigga, I got to go every day outside to see this shit. I got to watch on TV and see this shit. I got to watch what my kid watch because they might see that shit. And, and, and I don't care what it's called. It's a man. You got one? You're a man. Okay. And if we went into the men's section with our anatomy, that would be... Because like, you're more than welcome to do so. <laughs> because you reverse things, that is the same thing. If I'm a, if, if a woman's walking home in life, she got a big ass dude following her, she gonna feel unsafe. You be like, well, well, if a woman is following me, I wouldn't feel. Of course not, nigga. It's not what we're it's talking not about. It's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> what? 
I think you don't recognize the way in which women Come are made on. to feel unsafe when males enter their space. That's not the same thing. Let's, let's, let's be real. I ain't worried about no bitch smoking my hand. I, this is, Nick, <sighs> bros, I need you to listen to me here, all right? Listen, I don't give a fuck how short, how tall, how fat, how nice, how ugly these bitches look. Understand something in today's age, nigga. Nobody, nobody is worth underestimating. Hell, nigga, it's in the pimp. It's in the first chapter of the pimp handbook, nigga. Do not underestimate these bitches. Yes, a bitch could be a little scared because a big ass nigga's walking behind her, nigga. She get robbed or raped or some shit like that. But niggas, watch your motherfucking back. These bitches are just the same. They'll set your ass up. They'll have a gang of niggas at your door robbing your shit. They'll finesse your ass, tempt you with that pussy until they take what they want and they scat on your ass. Nigga, they scammers. Nigga, they drunken niggas, kidnapping niggas. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And I don't know how that shit is in Canada, how the bitches are in Canada. But in America, these bitches are some killers. These bitches are ruthless out here. Do not underestimate pimp. Chapter one, verse thirty, verse uh uh uh. That's uh. not. Well, it would probably, but you might not like women, so it might not. Okay, and we don't know. But for me and for a lot of other women, they do not feel comfortable, and it's not okay. Okay. So, well, I, yeah, yeah, you're sorry. You should be, sweetie. And you're out of alignment. And this is not right. I can tell you that much. All right? And I know you're out of work. Yeah, it must be hard. It must be hard not being a real man, huh? Try it. Okay. Uh, I want every <laughs> Fuck you want me to say? We got weak niggas defending weak niggas doing bitch nigga shit. D nigga Patrice O'Neill said it best, nigga. That he doesn't want to live in a world and may he rest in peace. That nigga said he don't want to live in a world what where being a man is bad. And being what a woman is, no matter what that is, is celebrated as good. This nigga was a fucking fortune teller. This nigga was a prophet blessed by us. And the fact, the fact, Adam, that you listen to this nigga and you still think, what, we need a, what, what, what's the shit that they did for the Nazis? Appe appeasement? You want to appease these Disable crazy motherfuckers. You want to appease these sick individuals. You want to appease the left, the communists. You want to appease the go along, get along gang, nigga. See, I'm starting to see it now, nigga. I'm really starting to see it now. This is one reason why I made this channel. Because, yeah, you got some niggas out there speaking some truth. But goddamn, ain't no niggas hard on these niggas' necks. That's the fuck I'm bringing to this shit. Hard on these niggas' necks. Because I'm so sick and tired of niggas making excuses for niggas that don't want to pull their pants up and fucking be a fucking man. But this is the world we living in, partner. This is what we got. And for weak-ass niggas that ain't American like them, ain't going to tell us how to... How, how, how bitches is over here? Bitch, stay your ass across the river, nigga. Stupid ass motherfuckers. Both y'all gay ass. Throw that nigga. Hey, pussy, what's up, nigga? I'm at your motherfucking front door step. And I ain't Bitch. giving no newspaper. Let's go. Fuck a nigga. Uh. 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 Uh